Bonjour à tous! Welcome back to Petite Spatule. If you are new here, bienvenue to you as well. I'm Jocelyn and I currently live here in Paris and I do pastry reviews every Wednesday. I'm actually super excited for this week's pastry review simply because I have been trying to track this pastry down for the longest time. What I mean by that is before, when I used to just visit Paris, I always tried to visit a young couvre patisserie to try to get a hold of his infamous vanilla flan. But unfortunately, it has always been sold out. So this time around, I did the click and collect option and picked up my vanilla flan from a young couvre boutique. Young couvre actually has three boutiques here in Paris. Um, one is in the 10th arrondissement, which is his first ever patisserie. And then there is another one at the 4th um, in the Lemaray area. And then there's the 9th inside the Galerie Lafayette Gourmet, which is where I actually picked up my vanilla flan. If you're in London, he also has a patisserie there inside Harrods. Anyway, going back to Galerie Lafayette Gourmet, if you happen to be in Paris just for a few days and you want to try a lot of good pastries, but you have a limited time and you don't want to waste your time traveling around one arrondissement to the other, taking the metro, etc., the Galerie Lafayette Gourmet is a good option simply because it's a huge food hall with a lot of good savory options, but also a lot of good pastries. You get, of course, Yann Cuvier, and you also get Pierre Hermé, you get Dalloyau, you get um, Leclerc de Genie, uh, Sadaharu Ayoki, there's also Jean-Paul Levin, and you get chocolates from Alain Ducasse. So there are a lot of options. So just a little tiny Parisian tip for you. Now let's get into the pastry. So the vanilla flan comes in this food paper packaging and there is the fox print all over um, the paper packaging and this is actually the emblem of Jan Couvre and you can also see the fox print all over his shopping bag. Right, without further ado, let's open it together. There it is. So this is the flan à la vanille bleue de la Réunion, which means the blue vanilla from the Reunion Island flan. One of the elements I noticed straight away was the puff pastry. It looked very well laminated and super flaky and baked to a perfectly nice golden color. It surely adds to the allure of this pastry. I want to talk about the blue vanilla used in this flan as well. It is uniquely harvested in the Reunion Island and is of very high quality with amazing flavor and aroma. And because of its unique process of production, the whole vanilla pod is actually edible. It can also be kept for several years and its flavor will continue to develop like of that of a good vintage wine. Considering the generous amount of vanilla seeds that are visibly studded in this flan, I can only imagine that this flan will be filled with extraordinary delicate notes from that blue vanilla. The flan also has a great caramelization on top. However, it doesn't seem to hold its shape very well. I think this flan should be served immediately as soon as it's been sliced. Regardless, from the looks of it, I am expecting a super luscious and creamy flan, très gentilleux. I have a feeling that I will be enjoying this pastry a lot. Okay, Jan Kruver's flan really lived up to my expectation. It's silky smooth, super creamy, it has a rich, intense vanilla flavor. It's like a celebration of that blue vanilla from Reunion Island. And although the crust is not as crisp anymore, um, it still has that buttery, delicate flavor on the puff pastry. So all in all, I really love this vanilla flan. And also, I feel that um, this flan resonates um, Jan Kruver's style as a pastry chef a lot because he is all about celebrating, embracing, and respecting ingredients. 
and letting those ingredients really shine through on his pastries. And for this, the vanilla is really singing out loud. So if you are a vanilla lover like me, you must try this flan. It's insanely good. And honestly, I feel like I can eat multiple slices of this flan in one sitting, like for sure. So that's it for this week's pastry review. I hope you really liked it. And if you enjoyed it, please press that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell button so that you get notified when I upload a new video. I will see you next week for another pastry review. A la prochaine. Till the next one.